So taking a little look at soon on the daily time frame here. As we can see, obviously, as I talked about before, this ridiculous 40x off the lows here, taking us up to around, what was it, two or three, maybe four million dollar market cap for soon. Obviously, the rebranding really, really helped them. Going into the gaming sphere, they've been partnering with so many games, by the way. Go and check out their Twitter and just check out how ridiculously active that their developers have actually been. Super, super bullish on this project, to be honest. It does seem as though that they are really, really pushing all, out all the stops. Pulling out all the stops, I should say. Pushing the boat out in, to make sure that they succeed. In terms of the chart, the chart's looking really good. Obviously, we came up here. We were coiling up, but we did get that breakdown. We came back down to support here. Getting un just under one cent. Obviously, we came back up into our Fibonacci level. We actually got the breakout of this trend line. And currently looking like we are back testing it right now. Just kind of seems like a simple break back test continuation, doesn't it? We've just had a nice little bounce to the upside there again. You can see the chart just bouncing around here. This chart does move quite quite significantly, obviously, with the low market cap. It's sitting at around $1 million market cap right now. So I definitely think 100x, maybe even more than that, is on the cards for the bull market. Maybe even beyond that, like I said, depending on how prolific the games they partner with do become. But overall, I do think this is a project that is going to do extremely, extremely well going forward. It's done very, very well so far this year, as we can see. Well, basically, we've been going into this year. We've done very well. Having a nice consolidation right now. Really looking like it's just making a nice little, a nice little bit of structure to rely on. And I do think this is probably going to end up going up pretty soon. You can see I've also got this trend line that we came to back test here as well. And... Obviously, we've got our 100 day moving average, which is nowhere near being retested yet. I have, I did say in previous posts and videos, Twitter, etc., that I have got buy orders on these Fibonacci levels, which I have. I still have, although it does seem unlikely to me that we'll probably go down to these levels unless we see some kind of crazy collapse for the market. But overall, I think soon looking really, really good here. On the hourly time frame, you can see it in more granular detail. You basically got this resistance that keeps getting tested here. And now we've got the break, the back test, the back test again. And looking like on the hourly as well, getting a bit too oversold at these levels. Looking like it wants to push up here and get above that moving average again. And if we can break that swing high up at around 1.5 cents, I think we'll be heading back up through our Fibonacci levels and up towards that local swing high pretty damn soon. Obviously, the all-time high sitting up at around 20 cents which is around 20x, just under a 20x from the current price. Obviously, the tokenomics have been updated since then, and the project itself has been updated. But I think with that crazy, crazy deflational, deflational, is that deflational? Deflationary, I should say, tokenomics. We're going to be seeing a lot of the supply being burned, and you know when the supply gets burned, the tokens should increase in price to follow suit. So this is looking really, really promising. They've got really, really crazy amount of partnerships. Every day they seem to have a new partnership with a game. Really excited to see where this goes. This is looking pretty damn good on the charts for me. Let's see, let's let's see. Let's see how we go.